today we would be starting some of the icai mcqs and we hope that this video turns out to be helpful for you all so before we start case study based mcq it's important for you to know that it's not necessary to start reading the entire mcq first mcq para and then only to read the question instead it should be in the reverse order that is to say first you should be going through the question the question that has been asked in the case study and thereafter you should look for its solution in the case study that's how you would be in a position to solve your mcqs in a timely manner so over here we should begin i guess so first question which of the following statements is correct in respect of loan of rupees 10 lakhs obtained by mr rajat from xyz private limited so over here there is a person mr rajat who has obtained a loan of rupees 10 lakhs from xyz private limited so first it's better if you look for the name mr rajat as well as the name xyz private limited and then read the relevant context the relevant content that has been provided in this matter over here in this entire content over here they talk about xyz private limited so here they say Mr Rajat holds 20% voting power in XYZ Private Limited XYZ Private Limited so it's obviously a closely held company from which he has obtained loan of rupees 10 lakhs on 1st April 2030 2020 that is to say financial year 2021 the company had free reserves of 8 lakhs as on 31st March 2020 so if you remember we have provision 222E which talks about deemed dividend According to this prov provision, if a shareholder has ten percent or more of voting power in a private limited company, then he is said to have beneficial interest in that company. And in such a scenario, if that person obtains an advance or loan from such a private limited company, then that loan or advance is treated as deemed dividend. However, it would be considered as deemed dividend only to the extent of free reserves. that are there with the company in this case mr rajat holds 20% of the voting power in a closely held company xyz so obviously in this case he has beneficial interest now he has been given a loan of rupees 10 lakhs however in this case the free reserves available with the company on the date the loan was given was only 8 lakhs that is why the dividend that is deemed dividend it would not be 10 lakhs rather it would be only 8 lakhs because free reserves amount to 8 lakhs so now let's go to the mcq and see what is being asked which of the following statements is correct in respect of loan of rupees 10 lakhs obtained by mr rajat from xyz private limited a option 10 lakhs would be taxable as deemed dividend it is incorrect since free reserves is only 8 lakhs so 222 e says that deemed dividend should be 8 lakhs now b option 8 lakhs would be taxable as deemed dividend in hands of mr rajat seems correct let's try c the entire amount is received in the ordinary course of business and therefore the loan obtained would not be treated as deemed dividend it is incorrect d the company will pay ddt no the system of ddt has been eliminated from finance act 20 so obviously the correct option is b and we would be checking the solution only uh, at the end of this video now let's jump to second mcq would cash withdrawals by mr rajat during previous year 2021 attract deduction of tax at source so over here we have tds and cash withdrawals this obviously reminds you of section 194n 194 n says that if a person withdraws an amount in excess of 1 crore from a bank account or from a cooperative bank then that person would be subject to tds at the rate of 2% so in the given case if you see all these mcqs there are four mcqs out of these four mcqs in two mcqs this one c and in this d option they talk about 5% tds rate and 5% tds rate so obviously these two mcqs are eliminated these two mcqs they don't make any sense because 194 and it only talks about 2% tds rate now finance act 20 it introduced an amendment in this section as per which if no return of income has been filed during the preceding 3 financial years then the threshold of 1 crore would will be reduced to 20 lakhs and in that case own 
Lee, if the cash withdrawals made are in excess of 20 lakhs, then TDS liability would be attracted. So first, if you want to see whether the threshold of 1 crore or 20 lakhs would be applicable in case of Mr. Rajat, first you need to figure out is whether he has filed his written off income for preceding three financial years or not. And that we can check only from the paras over here. In this, they say he had, obviously this para, it is talking about Mr. Rajat. Over here they say he had also withdrawn cash of rupees 1.2 crores during the financial year, during the previous year 2021 in aggregate from his current account with ABC Bank. All right. So over here, the amount withdrawn is in access of 1 crore, that is 1 crore 20 lakhs. Further, he has also withdrawn 50 lakhs from a cooperative bank account in October 20. He is regularly filing his of income. This statement is excessively relevant for you since it makes it clear that the threshold that you have to take into consideration is 1 crore and not 20 lakhs. Also, this threshold would be taken separately for cooperative bank as well as for ABC bank. That is, it has to be considered separately for the purpose of seeing whether the limit of 1 crore is being crossed or not. In case of ABC bank, obviously the limit has been crossed because the withdrawal made is 1 crore 20 lakhs. So the amount withdrawn in excess of 1 crore is 20 lakhs and 20 lakhs would be subject to 2% TDS. But in case of cooperative bank, the withdrawal made is only 50 lakhs, which is less than 1 crore and that is why no TDS liability. So now taking into consideration the same, let's see the MCQ. Third MCQ we have, what cash withdrawals by Mr. Rahul during the previous year 2021 attract deduction okay no sorry we have second mcq but cash withdrawals by mr Rajat during previous year 2021 attract deduction of tax yes but only in respect of 1.2 crore which is withdrawn from abc bank and tds would be on 20 lakhs and not in respect of withdrawals made from cooperative banks so first option yes tax is required to be deducted under section 194n at five percent it is incorrect since the tds rate is not five percent but it is two percent B option, yes, tax is required to be deducted at five at two percent on twenty lakhs under section one ninety four and by ABC Bank. It is correct. Okay, now let's see the third MCQ. The cash withdrawals by Mr. Rahul during previous year twenty twenty one attract deduction of tax at source. In this case, in the previous MCQ, they talked about Mr. Rajat. But in the next MCQ, they are talking about Mr. Rahul. So obviously, there are two persons involved in this case. Now, in case of Mr. Rahul, we need to see what has been given. Yeah, so here they talk about his brother, brother of Mr. Rajat, Mr. Rahul. He has not filed his written off income for the last five years. So obviously, the threshold would be 20 lakhs and not 1 crore even though his total income exceeded the basic exemption limit. So he had the liability to file written off income, but he failed to do during the preceding three financial years. He withdrew 50 lakhs from cooperative bank account during the financial year 2021. So obviously 50 lakhs is in excess of 20 lakhs. So 50 minus 20, 30 lakhs. 30 lakhs, it would be subject to TDS at the rate of 2% as per 194 n Let's see the options. A. No TDS provisions are not attracted since cash withdrawals is less than 1 crore incorrect because 1 crore is not the threshold you need to see. B. Option. No TDS provisions. Incorrect. C. No TDS provisions. Incorrect. D. Yes, tax is required to be deducted at 2% on 30 lakhs under section 194N by cooperative bank. It is correct. Now let's see the remaining MCQs. 30.4. What is the total income of Mr. Rajat for previous year 2021, assuming that he has not opted for section 115 PC? Okay, so let's read the entire para. Mr. Rajat is a diamond merchant. During previous year 2021, he has turnover of 20 crores and net profit of 60 lakhs after taking into account all the permissible deductions. So PGPP income, it would be uh, 60 lakhs. We have got 60 lakhs for this. Okay. Then we have he has invested in shares of various private limited companies from which he received dividend of 12 lakhs. Okay. Now dividend is taxable as per finance act 20. He has two house properties in India, both of which were self-occupied. One on one of the properties he had taken loan of 50 lakhs of which on which interest payable was 2,50,000 out of which 
He paid 1,80,000 during the year. Now, as for sexual